Hi, this is Suzanne, Glass Garden Beads and Brig Evans Textile Design. Now, today we're going to talk about the bead part of our business. We have gone from, and we still have it, the scallop wrap to the circle scallop wrap. And many, many, many of you have um, purchased either a la carte or the set from me. And when I say set, you get the nine inch cable chain bracelet, you get the 24 inch cable chain necklace, you get the packet of six colors that we use to coordinate with the Gollum bead. Now the Gollum is a ceramic, probably two inch, it's a big pendant, a two inch pendant. Now what I'm gonna show you today, it's not so much selling the group, but showing you, no matter what direction you go, if you want to go a la carte, use your own beads, there's a certain way of doing this so you get a uniform look. Now, uh, I'm going to start with, um, we use a six pound thread. Obviously, you can use four pound. And when I thread my needles, I always squish the end, make it flat. And you're going to get in the kit two needle sizes, a 12 and a 10. Again, what you're most comfortable using. Obviously, I use the 10. The bigger, the better for me. But I got to tell you, we are selling the packets of 15 O seed beads, six colors, to um, do the circle scallop wrap. Now, obviously, you can use any uh, size of bead you want out of your stash. But, um, and, and these things come finished now. We no longer are making you finish the chain. We're just finishing it up. You can always size it. And um, so I'm gonna get this. This is what it will look like when it's completed. Let me, let me get, now that I've kind of explained. Oh, I should also explain, I've lined up my six colors in the manner of how I want them to look and repeat. So if I, uh, number my bags one two three four five and i'm going to kind of turn this over six over here six then the yellow when i repeat myself i come back to one um you want to make sure that your number one and your number six look good together and they kind of give you an overall look you don't have any you know like two darks together and then all of a sudden it looks heavy that kind of thing. Make it so you like it. I think that's what I'm saying. Now, I'll get this element out of here. This is going to be called the butterfly combo. I haven't released it yet. Um, sneaky of me, isn't it, to use something you don't even know what's on the website yet. But here's how we start. And I'm going to in get this a little closer. There you go. All right. And I tell you in the directions... We do not want, when you have a cable, you have a stand-up link, and then you have a flat, what I call face link. Stand-up face, stand-up face, okay? We are going to stitch through the stand-up bead, or the stand-up link. And let me get this needle out. The stand-up link for this particular chain, I've already got it assembled. Once you get it connected, you do not want to put your bead thread through the connecting link. That is, no, you don't want that one. You are going to go to the next stand up link, which is over here. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start with my number one color. I'm going to pick up five 15 0 seed beads. Again, you choose your, your size. And if you choose a bigger bead, you may not need five. I gotta make sure I got five on there. I'm going to go through, starting is always the worst on every pattern. I'm gonna go through this stand-up link, okay? Pull my thread, and I'm gonna leave about a two-inch tail, okay? Now I'm holding on to this. Obviously, if you're starting and you're not used to holding onto the beads, put some tape on the end because you might have an instinct to pull all the way. Now, we are going, we went in one stand-up link and we're gonna go into the other stand-up link. I'm gonna add five more. 
So we're making a circle of beads, but we add beads per side. So here's four, five, okay? Now, I'm coming out this stand-up link, and I'm gonna go in the next stand-up link. So we're kind of, we're, we're circling this face, be, or face uh, link down here. So here I am, I'm going through that. Again, I'm holding on to everything. Here we go. Okay, now, here I've got my tail and my working thread. I'm gonna gently lay this down and I'm going to tie three knots, okay? Just an overhand knot, nothing nothing big. But meanwhile, keep it a little straight. You don't want, because once you get this tied on, I'll show you, you're making your circle now. You're now attaching the two sides together to make your circle. And once I get this done, I did one knot. We want to tie tight. And you don't want to, this is the other thing. You want to make sure when you're tying that your knot is going in to where it's coming out. You don't want to be right there. So we're, it takes, it's fussy. We're going to just take your time. Don't panic. Get a needle out if you have to kind of get that thread into place. See that? Right there. Okay. Pull another tight one. That's number two. Now we're a little more secure. And we'll do number three. Okay, again, get that back in the screen here, tie. This is the hardest part of this whole kit, getting that knot knife on there. Now, we are here. I am going to now go back, because I'm down here, I wanna go back through the whole thing. So I'm gonna go down through the five beads, see that, okay? Holding on to it, I'm just gonna pull slowly. We go a little slower to start because um, making sure that the thread is where it should be and not locking something else. And meanwhile, I'm gonna cut this tail so it's out of my way. There's a little pointer on the end. It will still show where you're at, but okay. Now I'm going to go back through, just like we're redoing the circle. I'm gonna go back through that stand-up link, hold it together. Okay, and now I'm going to go back through these. Sorry, through these five beads. I just had a little bit of a panic. I thought, I wonder if I got five beads on there. Sometimes when you're talking, okay, I did. There's three, and then I got to go through the other two, and I'm going to go through that stand up link, okay, but I'm not going to go through the beads on the other side. I'm just gonna go through the link, just like that. I'm not going through this bead up there, I'm just getting it through the link. So now, in all of our bead stitching, we always have to come back to where we want that needle to exit. All right, and when I hold the chain, I literally wrap it on my finger. I do one link at a time. I wanna make sure that the stand-up links are in order and they're not twisted. See that? Stand up, face, stand up, face. And I'm pulling tight. Okay, I'm pulling tight. And now we're going to add five of my next color. So this is gonna get a little easier. So I'm going over here, picking up five beads. Sorry, you get a full blown look at my freckles. But here's the, the five beads I'll get. They're hopping around on me right now. Okay, the next color. And I'm coming out this side, so that means I'm gonna go make, to make my circle, I gotta go like this, right? Go around, okay? So when you make a circle, you're always gonna come through one side again. Kind of do a double. Get the beads on top, that will help you for the layout. Pull, see how that goes, pull tight. And I'm gonna do five more, same color. So we have a complete circle. And we're gonna repeat this the whole length, but what I'm gonna show you next 
is the tension. We have to keep the tension on because you want those beads sitting on top if you can. They're going to wiggle around a bit. Now we're going to go through the link. See that? I'm just getting the thread where I need it to be. doesn't mean I'm done. The circle's complete, but my thread's not coming out where I want it to be. It won't. We're doing the circles. So on every circle, you're going to do your first five, do your other five, and then you're going to come back through the first five and exit. There's two. A lot of the people that I've shown this to want to try to get through all five beads. That makes it hard because you're kind of pulling them out of their places. And then through the link again. And here's where we're going to start showing some tension. See how I wrap that around my finger? We want that tight on every circle. Okay? Next link, move it up. It's coming out of this side now. Go to the next color, which happens to be kind of a russet. Putting five on. And if it's this way, you have to think you're making an arch. So the needle's gotta go in this way, okay? It's important to know where to point that needle. Okay, we only got half the circle done. So now we're going to do the other five beads. And the way we finished or started was doing that circle and going around it. That's how you finish it too. You don't want to finish on the last link that's connecting to, the, uh, to a jump ring. You want to finish before. Okay, here we are. You can see I kind of squished this. I'm going to pull this tight again. Sometimes you got to realign your, your beads. Okay, I'm up here and I want to get down and exit down here. So here we go. We follow through the other half. There's four I happen to go through. Just know that you got to get through all five. You can tell if you don't, if you miss it. All right, now there's one I need to pick up and I'm not picking up any beads. I'm just going through the link. Okay, we want to do a complete circle, but we don't want to catch that first bead. And see how this kind of went down there? All right, we don't want that. We want to kind of get, bring our fingernail, get those beads up there. And before I pull it tight again, I want those beads on top. See that? And that's how you do it. You go all the way down. I'm not going to make a lengthy one. Now, do you see where up here my one knot didn't get as tight as I want? You can go back and you can tighten this up if you want. I'm going to leave it because it's fine with me, but I want all my other ones to be around and laying on top of that chain. They're going to kind of wiggle on you, but if you can get a good tension, you are going to have a look that's pretty, let me just see if I can, yeah, there. That's pretty even and the beads are laying on top. Okay, it makes a pretty ne necklace and bracelet just as is. You can then use it if you want as a chain base for your, here, I'll get this out of the here. Forgot to cut off the wire. I put on on our golem sets. These are, these are uh, beautiful Bulgarian ceramic beads. You can see why I chose those colors. And then that becomes the chain base for this pendant. Now, if you have other pendants at home, go through. You're going to see in, on our website, you're going to see, let me keep going since obviously I'm talking. You are going to see other 15 palette sets we have. Um, and... Uh, you can choose your colors, they're pretty. And it, you, if you wanna do a la carte and not the big set, just order uh, the chain from us. Or if you have cable chain at home, that's what we use, okay? Here we go, I'm gonna finish up this last one and then I'm gonna bid you farewell. But that is how, with this one, it is about tension, keeping those beads on top of the face link and the face link is the flat link Put that in here 
And I'm using a 10 needle, FYI. I think I showed that to you at the beginning there. See how nice and 10 tight they got? And hold it like this. I think that's a really good way. Like I'm stitching with, I'm right-handed, so I'm stitching with my right hand. And I just do one at a time and I pull tight. Not catching that last bead. I'm just going through the stand-up link. Okay, guys, enjoy this. This is a fun, and it's so delicate looking because we do use the 15 O's, but you can adapt it to whatever you think you'd like. And enjoy. This is called the Circle Scallop Wrap. 